from Bahrain, it's theCUBE, covering AWS Public Sector Bahrain. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. Everyone, welcome to theCUBE here in Bahrain for AWS in the Middle East AWS Summit. I'm John Furrier, CUBE coverage is cloud computing, new Amazon region, a lot of innovation. But two great guests we have, Huda Ama Mosen, who's the Chief of Information Technology in the Ministry of Information and Authority. Welcome to theCUBE. And Thank Sumira you. Mohammed Alatawi, you are the Information and Communication Technology Director at the American University in Bahrain. Thank you for coming on. Thank you so much for having me here. Great to have you on. The ministries are, are mandated to move to the cloud, Huda, so we know what's coming for you, 2020. The goal is cloud first here in Bahrain. We covered this last year. How's that going? Uh, on, on plan? <laughs> it is on plan and it's in the process. We start in uh, November 2017. We start our journey with uh, clouds. Uh, we start moving our load uh, smoothly. We, uh, we plan it. Um, we face a lot of challenge in the beginning, of course, as all of the ministries. Then with help with uh, IGA, with our governments, uh, we move uh, smoothly. I think now we reach a good uh, position that we, uh, we, we can reach our vision, inshallah. Well, it's great that the, the government in, in Bahrain has a mandate for all the ministries to move to the cloud. I have to ask you, share with the folks watching, why the move to the cloud? What was the big uh, reason why the cloud first was in place? Um, see, technology is moving fast now, and uh, the speed and the security and the availability is very important for us as a ministry, especially for Ministry of Information. That's why uh, we decide, and as a government uh, vision, of course, that's why we decide to move the cloud. And a lot of integration from the old way, the new way. What are some of your observations lot, of between course, the two? A lot of uh, changing, a lot of uh, difference because, uh, you know, um, if you need to just to establish any projects in a normal uh, way, how much time you will spend and how much resources you will spend. In a cloud, you can just imagine it is with click. <laughs> yeah. Sumer, you're um, in a new role. Talk about your new role where you were before. This is not new to you, the cloud. You've had your toe in the water before. You've been playing around with the cloud. Now at the American University in Bahrain, a lot, full steam ahead, a lot of pressure, yes, a lot I of need, desire. I think, I think uh, I, yes, it is not new for me. I'm in the IT field like now um, for ages, I wouldn't say the years. <laughs> but then, yes, uh, it's not new, but in Bahrain Polytechnic, we are having the same journey, like migra migrating to the cloud. And uh, it's a new challenge in the American University of Bahrain. Um, it's a new startup, entrepreneur uh, university. But then uh, the interesting thing that I have joined them like three weeks ago, and now the IT is up and running within two weeks. So uh, with the help of the cloud and AWS, uh, our servers now um, uh, all up and running. And this is, uh, by the way, this is our first day in school. <laughs> so our students, they're just uh, taking their formal classes uh, as per today. So this is a very proud moment also And the for servers me. are on the cloud, yes, powering yes. everything? We have Moodle on the cloud at the moment, and um, uh, we have also Office 365, and uh, we have our ERP system as well. It's all in the cloud. So uh, within two weeks, that's an amazing story to be told. Versus the old way was months? Years? Um, <laughs> well, actually, it's uh, for every institution, there are some challenges and uh, there are some pros and cons, but I think the most beautiful thing about uh, Bahrain Polytechnic that everybody was working as a team and we understand our uh, each other's issues. So regardless of the time, there are always uh, been a support uh, and faith and trust in IT just to deliver the organization mission and vision. And this is the same with the American University of Bahrain. There is a, a huge trust and faith that in IT that they will derive the transformation or the change to the future. Ironically, the future is here. Yeah, and the cloud region uh, is beautiful out here. The impact to academic is something that we're going to be watching closely because the training is coming too. We're seeing that in the announcements here around a cloud computing degrees, more skill development. But I have to ask you from a business standpoint, in the academic area, 
What's the main use cases for cloud? Is it the curriculum? Is it the operations? What are some of the key cloud areas you're innovating on? Very interesting question. I think we have uh, like a blend of use cases. We have the operational uh, use cases and we have the academic use cases as well. I mean, the most important for us is in, in, the, uh, in the university is the academic. Now, how we can empower our students uh, to face the challenges of the future and the market demand. So we, we are sensing a lot of interest about the artificial intelligence, robotics, big data. And this morning when I was just um, uh, scrolling down the, the menu uh, of AWS, I've been seeing the satellite. So how we can embed this technology or the ready material like an AWS Educate in our courses and material versus the operational use cases, um, uh, how we can deliver the business objective in an agile mode and in the most efficient way. You know, like in university, we have so much critical time that we don't afford losing IT, like exams, posting grades. Uh, even for our students' graduation projects, it's become easier and easier era for, for, for the business, however, with the aid of IT. And the agility is really important because the expectation from the students is high. It's way high. I mean, the expectation and the use is already there. So not like before, not like my age, you know, like yeah. uh, students, they just get to introduce the technology when they got to the university. Now, all of our students, they already know and use the technology before they join the, um, uh, be, 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 before they join, actually. Huda, talk about the ministry, because you guys um, on the government side, very progressive, doing new things. You got Amazon's region here, which is going to create a revitalization. You're in the middle of it. What are some of your observations on the things that are going on that are, that are new for you guys that are positive? Uh, see, in uh, cloud, maybe as a ministry, as, as a government project, the most new thing that we get that the new environment. This is totally new environment. So, um, you know, if you just have any new thing or any new environment, you have resistance from, uh, from everyone, from, because it's a new thing, Annie. Yani. Okay. So um, people fear change. Yes, they don't want change. Like, of course, even sometimes the change is good, but this is the mentality of people, yani, to resistance a change. Uh, as a government, because we have um, one vision, which is uh, all the ministries working in same this vision, uh, we really plan it well, I think, uh, and we do it well. Um, as you see now in Bahrain, uh, the time that they established the cloud until now, you can see how many projects uh, in a process, how many projects already done, Yani. You know, cultural change, we cover this, we go to hundreds of events we cover uh, all around the world, mostly exactly. in the United States, but culture is number one. And people always want to push it back exactly. against change. However, the benefits that you were pointing out, Samir, are undeniable. Two weeks, talk about standing up critical infrastructure. Exactly. For whether it's curriculum or for services for citizens. Exactly, yeah. I mean, it's hard to debate, to justify the old way. Yeah. It's pretty hard. <laughs> There's maybe some political in there, but I mean, ultimately, it, the, the proof is there. Yeah. That has to be factored in. How do you guys do that? Do you just show people the data? Look what we did. Is that, the, is that how you get things through? Is it more yeah. um, cultural? I think we just discussed in a panel that about even, uh, let us talk about only the part of the financial thing. Before as an IT, if you want to just make anything in data center and any projects, how much time you will spend to bring the devices, to bring the servers, to connect it, to do it? Uh, how much time you will spend it? How, how much the time you will spend it even in the financial procedures as a government, of course. Uh, nowadays, uh, if you have any problem or any projects, you just by click, finish it and done. Yeah. I'm very impressed with Iran. Second year with Cube's been here. The things we talked about last year have been executed. They're executing. The region's up and running. The cryptocurrency license is in place. We covered that just now. We're going to hear about some curriculum for degrees. Uh, but last year, you mentioned the panel, you guys were just on the AWS We Power Tech. Last year, Teresa Carlson hosted a big breakfast, and I, I was lucky enough to attend that. And I actually got kicked out of my seat because there was so many women that wanted to sit down. I happily gave up my seat for that, but it was a packed house. Women in tech is very real and growing. You guys were just on a great panel talking about this. What was, this, what, what was going on in the panel? What was the key topic? 
Well, actually, the key topic um, is celebrating women in IT. And I think women now, they are flourishing in the IT field. Uh, we are showing a lot of uh, power and strength. Uh, also, like I think women in nature, um, we are dealing with the problem solving like in a natural way, uh, as well as team building. So it comes with our genes. Uh, on, top, on top of that, um, the technical power and the technical thinking and the, and the um, experience in the IT field, of course, it adds a lot of, um, a lot of uh, confidence when we are uh, presenting our plans. Uh, and we see the society is welcoming the women workforce in IT field um, more and more every day. So I think this is something that we should celebrate and we should put a, a, a lot of highlight on it, knowing that the value of women is, uh, is really growing. And the, 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 you were just talking about the time change, how things are faster. Yes. Things are getting done much faster, so, so things are accelerating, which and, and combined with more job openings, more roles are opening. It's not just coding. No. Yeah. It's creative, design, thinking. So you're seeing a, a surface area of opportunities. Uda, you're seeing this as well in the government. This is a bigger field now. Yeah. Your thoughts on, on how you see the panel? Um, yes, uh, it is, uh, but maybe uh, Samira will have more uh, experience in this area. On the skill gaps question that, that comes up a lot, um, there's so many job openings coming. There's a region yeah. here, there's entrepreneurs and startups. What are some of the new skills mm. that folks are trying to learn? What do you guys see? Well, actually on that, coming from an educational field, we know that um, cloud computing is um, like number one set of skills that is on demand uh, for the coming few years. But again, knowing that it will be as essential as we should not think about it. It just will be, will be transforming as a very um, catalyst. The way that we're thinking of electricity. At the beginning, it was a big deal. Later on, it's just there, and it has to be there. For us to move as a society, for us to move as an economy, then we are moving to the real things, as, uh, for example, blockchains, and we're uh, talking about artificial intelligence. And the technology itself uh, is just not as an important unless it, is, uh, it has some feed uh, in the economy development or in the society change. So I think this is how we can see it um, happening. So overall, you both think that cloud computing is going to revitalize the area? Definitely, yes. definitely, in a big way. I mean, the market, the first uh, skill set is looked at in the IT field is how many training, how many tr certificates have you taken in the cloud computing? On top of that, robotics, big data. But the most important thing, how to make yeah. the technology uh, benefit the citizens, in our case, the students, how we can deliver our classes uh, in a better way, um, how we can transform the business of university from on campus to study from anywhere. Though we have a very amazing campus in American University of Bahrain. Looking forward to covering you guys. Final question for you guys. What's next? What do you guys have coming up in this next year, a lot of activities. What are the goals? What are some of the things you're trying to accomplish? Uh, our um, next thing that we are planning to, to complete all this cloud project, to shift all our environment to the cloud, and to success in this, and to implement it in a good way that we can really use it in a good way, because uh, um, you know, sometimes you will see the cloud and you will use it but you cannot use it in a really benef a benefit way that you can get all the benefit from it. So inshallah, our vision now and our next step to use it in a good way. And I think for us in the American University of Bahrain, we had uh, yesterday an amazing meeting with uh, Teresa and uh, having our CEO, Dr. Susan, uh, in the meeting as well. And I think there is a lot of um, a great anticipation of what we can do together. So uh, something that is put on the table uh, that um, we want to um, uh, uh, sort of strengthen this relationship in terms of integrating our courses with AWS, uh, uh, as well as um, looking forward for new opportunities um, uh, like training and certificate in the field and so forth. This is super exciting. Benefits to citizens, 
students, new educational opportunities, new jobs, new services, whole new oasis. I think here. this is all, uh, <laughs> it's all about. The, the cloud yeah. oasis. This is the CUBE coverage. We are here in Bahrain for AWS Summit here. I'm John Furrier. We'll be back with more after this short break.